Hey everyone, so I, uh, I know a lot of people checked out the video of my eBay Motors Master Contest from the uh, Gecko Project. Well, this is a little update and a lot of people have asked for it. I have since restarted on a new frame, for those that are uh, unfamiliar. And uh, I've started basically over from scratch. What you see here in front of you is from September uh, until now. It's now uh, February, mid-February. And... The new car is going to be called the Scorpion simply because it's a little bit more refined and I like the name a little better. So, uh, still uses four wheel independent double wishbone suspension. I kept the coilovers off of a uh, Kawasaki Terex. I've got a new steering rack now that comes off of a uh, 89 Honda Civic. It's a manual steering rack. All the uh, hub spindles and axles are still from the Miata that I had originally. I picked up some new seats, so uh, now instead of those old kind of Recaro knockoffs, I have fiberglass back racing seats as well, and I know it's a little dark to see them, but uh, you get the idea. Still have the original engine that I had in the old Gecko project, 1000cc Honda CBR 1000RR motor. Uh, I'm pretty sure it comes out of a 2005 model year motorcycle. Good for about 172 horsepower. Rear wheel drive, it will be a chain drive setup, and uh, we'll have a differential mounted on carriers so that's adjustable. The, those are not the exhaust that's going to be used as having there for mock-up, but it kind of gives the idea of the uh, look I'm looking for. So, new chassis is all an uh, inch and a half by .120, a little bit heavier than I needed, so should hold up just fine. Obviously, you can see I used the, the bowed tube frame. Gives it a very aggressive look, I think. Smooths it out. It looks a lot prettier than the previous frame. And um, a lot more room up front as well. That was one of my big issues with the old one. Right in this pocket down here, right behind the front suspension, that's where your pedal box is going to be. Uh, fuel tank is going down there as well, as well as the battery. So I'm trying to balance out a little bit of weight, get some more weight down up front. As far as completion right now, this car is getting there. It's uh, quite a bit farther than I had the Gecko project that everybody's been looking at on uh, YouTube. So this current car, I've got complete suspension. Uh, everything's got heim joints down on the end of it. So I've got adjustability on all the corners of the suspension, as you can see down here. Shocks are mounted. It's a full roller chassis under its own weight. And steering rack is mounted. Engine's mounted. Everything's in place for where it needs to be. Uh, the next steps, as soon as I get brakes, a fuel tank, uh, pedals, and do a little bit of wiring, the car will be rolling. So um, there's a lot of people that continue to help me with this project. I'm hoping to have it done here within the next probably three months is kind of my goal. I look forward to making it out to Rice Killers this summer with the car. And I know the road legal battle is going to be a long one, but I'm going to do everything I can to get that done swiftly. So, big thanks to my grandpa, Don Barber, my dad, Steve, and uh, everybody else that's helped me along the way. There's a lot of shops, fab shops, metal supply stores, just people here and there that have really helped me with the project. So, this is kind of where it sits right now, and uh, I look forward to having it done and getting it out on the road. So, we'll see you there.